shipped from the US. I'll put a link in the description below. This is a Harbor Freight Multimeter um, Sentec. Now, it's got some features that this one just doesn't have for about the same price. First of all, it's got an on-off switch, which is really nice because, you know, you can forget to turn this in the off position. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see very similar layout with the features here. However, it also has a dedicated battery tester, 1.5 volt, 9 volt battery tester here, which is really cool because, you know, of course, you can test it under DC uh, voltage here. But this is even better because according to the um, instructions here, the manual, this battery tester uh, puts the battery under a load of 370 ohms. And it tells you under for normal amperage for a standard 9 volt will be 25 milliamps for a 1.5 volt should be 4 milliamps. Here's a 1.2 volt rechargeable battery. 3.6 milliamps, 3.7, that's cool. Um, so yeah, not, not far off from the four milliamps for the 1.5 volt. So that is a very nice feature. Another nice feature about the Sentec, again, the Harbor Freight Sentec, is that the fuse, which I blew on this, uh, miscalculating amperage, um, learning about testing um, amperage, Pretty easy to blow the fuse if you don't know what you're doing. That was that's rated on the old multimeter, the, the first cheap one from China, to 200 and 200 milliamps, um, 250 volt, 200 milliamps. On the Harbor Freight, it's an upgraded fuse. It can take up to 500 milliamps of current with 250 volts. So that's even a, a nicer feature that this is going to be. Um, that fuse is going to be is going to take more abuse basically before it blows. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys soon.